Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So Archangel Michael and God himself, the creator of the universe, whoever you believe in, the higher power, has got a message for you today, a message for you on your journey. You were built for this. Whatever you were going through, whatever struggles you were facing, whatever is hurting your heart right now, you were built to get through this. You are a warrior of love. You are a light worker. You are connected with source. You are one with all things and you are strong and you are safe and you are protected and you are very loved and you were built for this. So if you're thinking right now, I can't carry on on this journey. This journey is kicking my butt. I can't do this anymore. It hurts too much. I don't believe it's real. I don't know what's going on. I'm doubting everything. I think I'm going crazy sometimes. You were built for this because you are a warrior of love. You are strong. You are a creator. You are a fighter, a lover, and you are here here now for a reason and you were built for this this challenge this trigger whatever you're going through and that's an urgent message today coming from archangel michael and coming from heaven you were built for this god is saying to you i built you for this of course you can do this you were strong remember your power especially as you are a divine feminine divine feminine power that's why i'm wearing this t-shirt today very powerful and i want to say a big thank you as well by the way to everyone who's been buying the merch and you know buying the mugs and everything else thank you for that divine feminine power remember your truth and yesterday really powerful message ascended masculines the masculines ascending understanding finding their way so whatever you're going through today let go of that fear and let go of it now because you are safe. And remember the fear, it can't live in the present moment. It's created by the ego. And the ego edges the goodness out. And on this journey, we learn how to overcome the ego. Because the ego brings in those fear-based thoughts or feelings. Those questions. What if? What if you never see them again? What if it's all in your head? What if they don't leave that person? What if you're unhappy forever? What if you're alone forever? What if you don't survive? Your ego tells you all kinds of crazy things. And it's not real. It's illusion. It's a false experience appearing real. So we have to let go of those thoughts and be present in the moment, in the now. That's a gift that you are given every day. And you choose if you're in that moment or not. Are you choosing to be in the now, to choose peace, to choose happiness, bliss and joy? Or are you choosing to live in the future that hasn't yet occurred with fears and worries? Or are you living in the past? Are you choosing to think about that and go over everything and wish things could change or be different? Be present in the now and you will take back your divine feminine power or your ascended masculine energy because that's who you are, so let go of fear now, and Archangel Michael today is helping you to do this, to step into your power, to take the sword of truth and stand up for what you believe in, and know who you are, no matter what people around you are doing or saying, and it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks of you, it matters what you think of you, and it matters what you believe and how you feel, because that's what's real. So Archangel Michael is going to give you the power today. And that's why you're going through Ascension. And it's the 11th today. And 11 is power. So if you're seeing 11, 11 right now, the universe is speaking to you, reminding you of your power, reminding you to trust and have faith. If you're seeing spiders, you're being reminded of alignment and universal power. If you're seeing the number 222 or 555, trust the universe. It's all happening in the now. And your third eye is opening to this. So you can see past the pain. See through the illusion. Understand why things happen the way they do. You learn to see past the physical world. 
and see all the realms and all the understandings. So your third eye is opening. So ascension symptoms, remember, you may be having tension, headaches, pressure in the third eye, crown chakra activation. So you may be feeling this dizziness, headaches, you know, tears again today, emotion, aches, dizziness. Whatever you're going through, you are safe. So let go of fear now, especially if you're worrying about the pandemic or anything that's going on in the world. Be of the light. Leave the fear for other people. Leave the fear for the darkness and you become the light. You be the change that you want to see because that's your power and that's your strength because you were built for this. You were built for this. God is saying to you today, I built you for this. Remember, you are a warrior. You are a fighter. You can do this. And Archangel Michael, whenever you struggle, whenever you go into pain, Whenever you feel like you can't go on, he is with you right by your side, picking you back up, saying to you, get up, warrior, get up, soldier, you can do this, and I've got you. You've got this, and I've got you, and you are safe. Very powerful message coming in today. So the cards we're going to use today then, I'm going to bring in the Guardian Angel Oracle. This is a beautiful deck by Radley Valentine. We're also going to bring in this powerful Age of Dragons deck. And this is by Lisa Stokes, I believe. Oh no, yeah, Age of Dragons this is. By Anne Stokes, sorry, Anne Stokes this is. To see what dragon energy is around to bring in power. I'm going to bring in the Divine Masculine Messages to the Divine Feminine by George My Twin Flame Blue Eyes Tarot. And he is available for readings right now, Reiki right now. He even does channeled messages from your masculine you know through words or through song so if you're interested in finding out what your masculine wants to say hit him up at george drew um 07 at gmail.com okay or you can go on and check out his website gmail.com yes so we're also going to bring in this beautiful sacred union oracle we used these yesterday and the realms mercury edition too Okay. I am also going to be using my new deck that is available to buy now, but I haven't got the physical copy of it yet for members. So if you are a member, I'm going to be doing some interactives today, and I'm also going to be using that deck too. Let go of fear now you were built for this. So what's the energy then today, please, angels? What's the energy around the divine feminines, please? The energy around the divine feminine. The energy around the divine feminine. I'm waiting for one card to come out. They're trying to come up here. Okay, no, it would tell me go again. Energy around the divine feminines. The energy around the divine feminine, there we go. The energy around the divine masculine and the energy around the connection. The energy around the connection. Thank you, angels. What's the energy today? Another one here as well. Around the connection. The energy around the connection. The energy around the divine feminines today, please, angels. And the energy around the divine masculines. Wow. A few coming out again for the masculine. What's happening with the Divine Feminine today? What do we need to know? What do we need to know for the Feminine today, please, angels? For the Divine Masculine today, there it is. And the energy around the journey, what do we need to know? Wow, powerful. What does the Masculine want to say today to the Divine Feminine? Thank you. There we go. What does the Feminine want to say to the Divine Masculine? And what's going on with the journey? And this is showing you how you can use any deck of cards for any question you desire. What's the energy around the divine masculine today, please, angels? The energy around the masculine today. The energy, thank you, around the divine feminines today. And the energy around the journey. What do we need to know? Very powerful. So we're going to start with the divine masculine today then and see what's going on. So the energy is we've got the sea dragon. Very powerful. This is the six of spades as well. So this is showing you that they're dealing with their head. You know, they're in their thoughts, their emotions, and the feeling things. And the sea is connected with the ocean. And the ocean is about their emotion, the ocean of emotion. But it's about how they're dealing with the pressures in their life, how things are building up. Because the ocean is powerful. And the ocean is like, it can be very calm or it can be very, you know, powerful. Like a tsunami, it can blast things out of the way. It can be chaotic, the ocean, or it can be very calm and gentle. And that's how your masculine can be. Your masculine can be very calm, very gentle, very loving, very emotional. 
or they can be in chaos and low energy and upheaval. So they are trying to balance their energy today, balance their emotion. So like the water dragon, they can flow through their life. I fear a relationship with you because I don't want it to be another failed relationship. So this is the fear he's going through in his mind, all this emotion. He's saying to you, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of failing you. I'm afraid of failing myself. I'm afraid of letting you down. So he's working through these fears. He's saying to you, I didn't love myself. So the reason he walked away from you, the reason he was cool or cold with you, is because he didn't love himself. And he's learning now to do that. He's learning to understand that he can give to himself. Because the masculine tends to sacrifice his own happiness. And you may feel like he's pushing you away, he's hurting you, he doesn't care, but he actually cares too much. So he sacrifices it, he holds it all back, he keeps it within, because he didn't love himself. And he's learning to do that now. His biggest fear is being alone. And that's sometimes why he stays in his karmic situation, because he's afraid of being alone, he's afraid of making a change, and his ego tells him fear-based thoughts. And he has to let go of that. The ego is saying, what if you're left alone? What if it doesn't work out? What if you fail? What if, you know, you fail the relationship and he or she walks away? So this is the fear he's going through. And we've got the five of abundance today. There are times when everyone needs a hand. So the masculines need a helping hand too. You know, they are being given support and help from heaven. They are asking for what they need now. They're starting to love themselves and trust in that. Your angels want you to know that you needn't go through your current challenges alone. So another message here for the masculine, that they were built for this, that they can handle this challenge, that they are strong enough, that the angels are with them. They don't need to go through it alone and that you were there for them too. Accept the help of those around you. So the masculines are starting to move into this energy where they are allowing help in instead of trying to do everything or understand everything by themselves. And for the divine feminine, we have that Cinderella energy where you're trying to do everything yourself, but the masculines are trying to understand everything by themselves and they're giving me fear. And that's fear. It creates fear. They feel alone and they fear being alone. That's their biggest worry of failing you, of being alone because they didn't love themselves. The situation you're experiencing is temporary. So this is a big sign that whatever they're going through, it's temporary. Better times are ahead. Bigger things are coming. The, se the separation is temporary. The karmic situation is temporary. Being away from you is actually temporary. This may not be the right time to become self-employed, so be patient. So the angels are saying it may not be the right time for them to become, you know, independent right now. But you have to be patient. And what that means is it may not be quite the right time for them to go it alone. For them to leave that job or that karmic situation. And you're being reminded to be patient because they're still loving who they are. They're still dealing with fear of the unknown. They're still making that change. And your masculine is saying, I'm further on my journey than you think. And I love it when this comes out because the masculine is showing this to you. I'm further ahead than you think. You may think I'm never going to leave. I'm never going to sort it out. But I'm further ahead than you think I am. And I'm getting this done. And look at this, the water energy. And this is the sea dragon energy. So he's saying to you, I am dealing with my emotions. I am starting to regain balance and composure in my life. I'm st starting to see, can't even express it. Pain, struggle, you know, releasing this in the throat chakra. It's not the right time. And this is what I'm feeling here. You know, he's saying to you, it's not the right time. Please be patient with me, but it will be soon. It's coming. So if you're watching this thinking, why is everyone receiving communication apart from me? Why does it seem to be moving forward for everyone else, but not me? And your mask is saying, it's not quite the right time. Please be patient with me. I'm dealing with my fears. I'm dealing with my emotion. And that's why Archangel Michael is saying to you, let go of fear now. 
And that's why your creator is saying to you, you were built for this. You can handle whatever's going on. Look at this divine masculine. The person you're asking about is your divine counterpart or the person is your divine counterpart. So if you're thinking right now, is this even my twin? Is this my divine masculine? Yes, there's your confirmation. And the message is, there's no need to complicate. I'm yours forever and always. And that's the message that came out yesterday. So your divine masculine is saying to you today, there's no need to complicate it. There's no need to overthink it. It may not be the right time, but I am forever yours, always and forever. And I am your divine masculine. So let go of fear now. So trust the journey. Okay, they didn't love themselves. They're still healing. They're still dealing. Very powerful. Let go of fear now. You were built for this. So divine feminines, what's the energy around you today? We've got, again, water dragon here for you. And this is the seven of spades. So this is showing you that you were dealing with emotion, standing up for what you believe in, dealing with the way you feel about things and balancing your emotion. So I love that you're both in the same energy, the energy of love, the energy of moving around obstacles, stepping through pain. You may feel stupid. We all feel stupid as a divine feminine on this journey. You may feel stupid. You may be emotional today. You may think, why? Why is this happening? You feel lost and alone and stupid about things. And you're thinking, how could I let myself be treated this way? My masculine must think I'm stupid. Must think I'm daft. They get away with anything with me. You feel stupid. Let that go. Because you've got the ace of abundance. This cherub, and a cherub is a romance angel. Okay, so a romance angel is coming to you today, saying to you, I'm bringing wonderful news. So this romance angel, this cherub, is bringing you wonderful news. A windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans. So you're receiving everything you need today to move this forward, to move you towards union. And the resource is knowing that you were built for this, to let go of fear now that you are a warrior, that you can do this. These resources may include money, advice or assistance in getting things done. So you're being given what you need today, whatever that may be for whatever you were going through. You're being given it. It's a good time to start a new venture. So you're being reminded that this is a fertile time for your union, for your journey and for you to make things happen. It's a good time to start a new venture, to change careers or go into business for yourself. There may be important contracts to sign. So you've got other things going on today, Divine Feminine. Focus on them because you were built for this. And if you feel stupid, remember your power. Remember who you are as a Divine Feminine. You may be feeling alone. You may be missing your twin. You may be feeling misunderstood or like nobody gets it. When's it going to happen? Am I going to be alone forever? I feel stupid. And the universe is saying to you, wait, it will happen. Now it is simply not the right time. So you've been reminded today it's in divine timing. And if this triggers you, you've been healed. What triggers you heals you. If you're getting triggered over the timing of things, you're still not ready. You're still surrendering to divine time. Remember your power as a lioness. Fear is an illusion. Fear is an illusion, so let go of fear now. What a powerful message today. It will happen when the time is right. Fear is illusion. Whatever your ego is saying to you, let that go. You were built for this. God himself is saying to you, I built you for this. Very powerful. For the journey, we've got the desert dragon. So again, if things feel stuck, you're being reminded you're on the path to union. The ten of hearts, the ten of cups there the path of union, your happy ever after, magic ahead. We've also got the sea dragon here again. Separation is illusion. You're being reminded of this. Separation leads you to where you're meant to be. Okay, the journey, we've got, I need money. So it feels like money could be affecting the connection today. This is the masculine needing to be able to support the divine feminine. Okay, needing to be able to bring in everything for you, wanting to do that, sorting out their financial situation. 
sorting out their responsibilities and their obligations. Maybe they're focusing on work. They could even be saying to you, I need money. They may be in a lower vibration than you and they're not knowing how to attract abundance into their life. Maybe you've given them money and you feel like that's all they want from you or that's all they need from you. And the angels are saying to you, they want to be able to give to you everything that you give to them. So this is about financial abundance flowing in. We've got the eight of emotion. You feel a deep longing for something meaningful in your life. So you're longing for each other. You're longing to be with each other. In your heart, you know that there's more out there waiting for you in the world. It may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or initiate other important changes. Do what's right for you and seek out your magical new life. Seek out your magical new life. Feels like your masculine is going through an energy where he needs more money. He's thinking, I want to change my job. I want more in my life. More abundance, more joy, happiness, success, power. You may be thinking right now, I need money. You may be thinking about your career or your goals or how you can bring this in doing your spiritual practices. How you can bring more abundance into you. And the angels are saying to you, whatever you're searching for, you will find it. I'm making a decision towards our union. So you're both making a decision today to let go of fear now. Because you were built for this. To work on bringing in a more meaningful life. And I'm at a crossroads in my life right now. And the journey is protected. So everything that's happening right now is protected. There's decisions coming in. Especially as we move towards September. And I spoke about this the other day. If you're seeing the double rainbow. You're being reminded of the power of this love. That you are protected. And that you are safe. And that fear and everything else is an illusion. So let go of fear now, you've got this and heaven has got you. The message for you today is very clear, you were built for this, you can do this because you were strong. Have a great day sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.